Amen. Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O oh, Lord, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ to thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Then Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in this day of battle. battle. Be your safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God, God restrain him, we humbly pray. And, and thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by, by the power of God, God thrust down, down into hell, hell Satan, and, and all, all the evil spirits, spirits who wander through, through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. souls. Amen. O Angel of God, my, my guardian, guardian there, to whom oh God's, God's love, love commits me here, ever, ever this day be at my side, the light and God, rule and guide, guide. amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Our entrance hymn, number 210-210, Gather Christians. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, behold he comes. Rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. To God their Father, let's give him praise. To God their Father, our voice we raise. To God their Father, who reigns above. Praise the Lord for his mercy and his love. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, behold he comes. Rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, behold he comes. Rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, Father. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. 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 Christ, 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 have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Psalms and Canticle from Saturday, week one. My eyes watch for you before dawn. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My, my eyes, eyes watch, watch for, for you before, before dawn. dawn. The Lord is my strength. I will sing his praise. He is my salvation. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Horse and rider he hath thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God, and I extol him. My Father's God, and I give him praise. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled high. The moving waters stood up like a dam. The deeps turned solid in the midst of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the plunder. I shall have my will. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. You blew with your breath. The sea closed over them. They went down like lead into the mighty waters. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you, so glorious in holiness, spreading fear through your deeds, you who do marvels? You stretch forth your hand, the earth engulfed them. Your love has guided the people you redeemed. Your power has led them to your holy dwelling place. You will lead them and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my, my strength. strength. I will, I will sing, sing his praise. praise. He is, is my, my salvation. salvation. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, oh praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord, all, all you nations. nations. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, People of Zion, you will live in Jerusalem and weep no more. He will be gracious to you when he hears your cry. When he hears, he will answer. When the Lord has given you the bread of suffering and the water of distress, he who is your teacher 
will hide no longer, and you will see your teacher with your own eyes. Whether you turn to the right or left, your ears will hear these words behind you. This is the way, follow it. He will send rain for the seed you sow in the ground, and the bread that the ground provides will be rich and nourishing. Your cattle will graze that day in wide pastures. Oxen and donkeys that till the ground will eat a salted fodder winnowed with shovel and fork. On every lofty mountain, on every high hill, there will be streams and watercourses on the day of the great slaughter when the strongholds fall. Then moonlight will be bright as sunlight, and sunlight itself be seven times brighter, like the light of seven days in one. On the day the Lord dresses the wound of his people and heals the bruises his blows have left. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response, happy are all who hope in the Lord. Happy, happy are all, all who hope in the Lord. Praise the Lord for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. Happy, Happy are all who hope, hope in, in the, the Lord. Lord. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Happy, Happy are all, all who hope, hope in, in the, the Lord. Lord. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked in the dust. Happy are all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, you O Lord. Lord. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing all kinds of diseases and the sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord to send laborers to his harvest. He summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits with power to cast them out and to cure all kinds of diseases and sickness. These 12 Jesus sent out, instructing them as follows. Go rather to the Lord's sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. Receive without charge, give without charge. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> so what stands out very clear in today's Gospel is the fact that Jesus is exercising compassion. That is, he's in solidarity with the people. He's feeling what they feel. And so, 
he recognized that his mission is to, to deliver them. Probably that is why in Hebrews 4.15 we are told that Jesus is like us in all things but sin. And therefore, he is able to sympathize with our weakness. That is, he is able to be in solidarity with us. He knows our weakness and therefore he is in a position to help us to get out of it. No? And that is why he brings us the good news of the kingdom, forgiveness, reconciliation. He's our good shepherd who keeps us safe. But he says a few things that we need to look at. One, he says the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So as the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. And then he summoned 12 disciples, gave them power and authority, and tell them to go and do what I was doing. Now that is always very important for us to reflect on because he's sending out all of us as workers for the harvest. And notice what he says. As you go, proclaim, no? As, and as you go, proclaim that the kingdom of God is close at hand. Well, that itself would not mean that it is still at a distance, but it is going to be among us. But how is it going to come among us? That is why he went on to talk about what they're supposed to do. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out devils. Remember that you receive the kingdom freely, so give it freely. So the idea then that the kingdom is made actual and present when we pass on what we have received from the Lord. Forgiveness, freedom, salvation when we pass it on. So, in healing the sick, we are making the kingdom present. In bringing the dead back to life, in cleansing lepers, driving out demons. Now, those people who mourn, we, we bring them to the point where they're comforted. When we do things like that, we're making the kingdom present. Now, so the kingdom of God is present to the extent that those that God has called to be laborers with Jesus are doing the work of the Lord, replicating the work of the Lord. That's what God wants us to do, replicate the work of the Lord. So what it means then? To belong to the kingdom is to participate in God's mercy and encounter Christ in the people that we serve. No? Well, put it another way, to be a Christian is to be like that. Followers of Christ. To be a Christian is to participate in the building of the kingdom. Now those who build the kingdom will become mercy driven, just like Jesus. His whole life was, he was mercy driven. And if you're going, to, we have to be like him. We have to be mercy driven. So from time to time, we have to ask the question, how have, how have I have been building the kingdom? How have you been building the kingdom? No? Or put it in another way. It is the same question, but in another way. What mercy experiences have you participated in? No? So the same question. How have you been building the kingdom or... What mercy experiences have you participated in? Now, if you cannot answer in the positive, then you really don't belong to the kingdom of God. No? And what it means is that despite the fact that we say we are Christians, we are not. You see, at least, I mean, nobody can say they're fully the way God would like him or her to be. But at least we must be able to show that we are doing something. We might be imperfect, but we are still doing something. So that's important. And the other thing, and how are the mercy experiences we participate in, how are these experiencing, 
experiences impact in our life. If we're doing them, they're going to impact our life. And I bet you that they will make us feel closer to the Lord. Help us to feel that I'm not just doing something, but I'm building something. I'm building with Jesus. I'm building the kingdom of God. We are kingdom builders for the Lord. And we work along with Christ. And we build the kingdom by proclaiming the good news and allowing others to take in the good news and to experience, even now, the salvation of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. At this moment, my dear friends, we, we have two of our sisters who will be, be commissioned as extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion. That is Karen Ann Krishlow, please stand, and Wendy Berkeley. My dear sisters, you are to be entrusted with administering Holy Communion, with taking communion to the sick, and with giving it as we are to come to the dying. In this ministry, you must be examples of Christian living in faith and conduct. You must strive to grow in holiness through this sacrament of unity and love. Remember that though many, we are one body because we share in the one bread and the one cup. An extraordinary minister of Holy Communion, be therefore especially observant of the Lord's command to love your neighbor. For he, he said to them, this is my commandment, that you should love one another as I have loved you. And so I ask you, are you resolved to undertake the office of giving the body and blood of the Lord to your brothers and sisters and to serve to build up the church? Are you resolved to administer the Holy Eucharist with the utmost care and reverence? My dear friends, let us pray with confidence to the Father. Let us ask him to bestow his blessing on our sisters chosen to be ministers of Holy Communion. Creator, merciful Father, creator and guide of your family, bless our sisters, Wendy and Karen Ann. May they faithfully give the bread of life to your people. Strengthened by this sacrament, may they come at last to the banquet of heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we welcome you as members of the ministers of Holy Communion. Let us pray. Our response, your kingdom come. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. The Lord our God is coming. Let us put aside fear and look forward to the future with courage. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Lord, you made all things and renew them. All creation displays your work. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. You have given us dominion over the earth. May our work have a share of your creative power. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. We pray for those who work for the relief of suffering in others. May they also know comfort and understanding. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. As you rest from your work, as we rest from our work at the end of the week, restore our strength and give us time to know you. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. And let us say to Francis and Jason, our bishops, May God give them the courage and the boldness to live and proclaim the message of the kingdom and the signs of the kingdom to this generation. We pray. Your kingdom come. We pray that the Lord will hear the cries of the sick, bind up their wounds, and heal them, 
that they may know that the kingdom is here. We pray. Your kingdom come. Bless our needs, dear Lord, and give us the capacity to feel what others feel and to respond to their needs with compassion. We pray. Your kingdom come. May the Holy Eucharist be effective in our lives, rousing us from the sleep of routine and complacency and stir us to proclaim the good news of faith, hope, and love to the lost sheep of our time. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity. Cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord our God, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name as we celebrate the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When, when we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, all the religious the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, O Father, using the words that Jesus, our Savior, gave us and asking the Lord to help us recognize that to be in the kingdom is to do the works of Jesus. So let us there say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. The peace of God. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. 
Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, grant us peace. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. If we eat of the Lord, and we drink of the Lord, like the Lord we shall all be. Then we live with his life, and we share in his love, and his truth will make us free. The Lord tells us his plans, listen to his commands, to the Father come through me. Share this banquet of love, eat my flesh, drink my blood, do this in my memory. This command says the Lord, I give specially to you, love each one as I love you. By this sign all will know what I have to bestow, through this love man I renew. From this banquet of life, bring my love to the world. Be a sign for all to see that I bring man my peace through the breaking of bread that I come to make him free. If we eat of the Lord and we drink of the Lord, like the Lord we shall all be. Then we live with his life, and we share in his love, and his truth will make us free. The Lord tells us his plans, listen to his commands, to the Father come through me. Share this banquet of love, eat my flesh, drink my blood, do this in my memory. Do this in my memory. O sacramentum, holy, 
O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, every moment that. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, every moment that. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, the every moment that. Let us, dear friends, may the art of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist, full of love, full of goodness, full of life, that we might share in your divine nature. Lord Jesus, we love you above all the things, and we desire more than anything else to receive you into our hearts and souls and minds. But Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally, so come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, and dwell in our hearts, in our souls, in our minds. Embrace us so that we have that blessed assurance that we belong to your kingdom. And Lord, teach us how to unite ourselves wholly and completely to you and never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand for the Benedictus. Do not be afraid, Zion. Behold, your God will come. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who are his prophets from of old. A savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all of their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Do not be afraid, Zion. Behold, your God will come. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, on the sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We made the art of consecration to the most pure heart of Mary. O Mary, Virgin most powerful and Mother of mercy, Queen of heaven and refuge of sinners, 
We consecrate ourselves again this day to thy immaculate heart. We consecrate to thee ourselves and our whole life, all that we have, all that we love, all that we are. Our bodies, our hearts, our souls are thine. Thine our homes and our families, our country. We consecrate to thee, especially our children and our schools. We desire that everything about us may belong to thee and share in the benefit of thy maternal blessings. And in order to make this consecration truly efficacious and lasting, we renew at thy feet, O Mary, the promises we made at baptism, at first communion, and at confirmation. Always to profess the truths of faith with courage, and as Catholics, to be completely obedient to the directions of the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Archbishop appointed by him. We promise to observe the commandments of God and of the Church, and particularly to sanctify Sunday by going to Holy Mass. We promise to establish in our lives, as far as possible, the consoling practices of the Catholic religion, especially those of frequent Holy Communion and the daily recitation of the Rosary. We promise finally, O glorious Mother of God and loving Mother of mankind, to devote ourselves with all our hearts to the most holy service, in order to hasten and secure, by the reign of thy immaculate heart, the reign of the heart of thy adorable Son, in our own souls and in all souls, in our own love country and in the world, on earth, as it is in heaven. Amen. Sweetheart of Mary, be our salvation. Sweetheart of Mary, be our salvation. Sweetheart of Mary, be our salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your and May spirit. God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to And God. have a wonderful day, my friends. Same to you, Father. Number 163, 163. Mother of God. Mother of God, we hail thy heart, throned in the azure skies, while far and wide within its charm, the whole creation lies. O sinless heart, all hails, God's dear delight, all hail, our home, our home is deep in thee, eternally, eternally, eternally. Mother of God, he broke thy heart, that it might wider be. That in the vastness of its love there might be room for me. O oh, sinless heart, all here, God's dear delight, all here, our home, our home is deep in thee.